Hi there. Now, for this question, the answer for the rate of change of the length of this cube when the volume is 64 is 1 over 24, 124 centimetres per second. Now, this is a typical question on connected rates of change. And if you want further practice or examples on this, do go on my website. But I'll take you through this anyway. So what I've done is drawn a cube and I've said let the lengths here be x centimetres. And so the volume V is going to be x times x times x, x cubed centimetre cubes then. Now we're given that the rate of change of volume is 2 centimetre cubes per second. And that is a rate of change and can be written as dv by dt. So dv by dt equals the 2 that we've got here. Now, if I'm looking for a rate of change of the length, that will be dx by dt. And we use the chain rule in connected rates of change. I write dx here and I write dt down here. And then we're looking for something else that will effectively look as if it cancels, if you like. And that has to be v here, OK? So dx by dt then is dx by dv times dv by dt. We've connected two rates of change. Now, dx by dv, we can get that quite easily by taking v as x cubed, differentiating it with respect to x, that gives us 3x squared, and then using the reciprocal rule, we get that dx by dv will be 1 over 3x squared. So I've substituted that into here. And dv by dt, the rate of change of volume, remains constant at 2, so I can put that in there. And cleaning this up gives us a general formula then for the rate of change of the length. Now, we know that when the volume is 64, we can work out what x will be, because volume is given by x cubed, so x cubed equals 64, leading to x equals 4. And all I need to do is substitute this into equation 1 here, and that gives us the rate of change of the length. And as you can see, it turns out then to be 1 /24. And the units, as you can see, are centimetres per second. Okay?